Yeah, if you went to school during my times, you could actually remember that there was a set book that was called Betray in the City. And there was one character therein that was called Jasper. He once said that university students have got money in, uh, money in theory. I hope you can read that while you were, while you were in campus, uh, while you were in campus sometimes back. But then this statement might not be true to some of the students across the world and across Kenyan universities. There are some who have actually come out of their sleeping chambers and actually decided to come out with very good business empires that are going to actually help them in moving on safely and smoothly in their campus life. Today, welcome to our newest program in town by the name From Grass to Grace that is set to begin here on Alchifa TV. And today, I'm joined by one of our very own from Technical University of Mombasa, a third year student pursuing mechanical engineering by the name Vitis Girls Miyenda, uh, who is actually with me here in the studio. He has begun a business empire that uh, he has actually mentioned a cyber cafe. So that is what we're going to discuss this particular uh, morning. We want to, to we want to really understand what really made him to begin this business empire. How did it all begin, and what is uh, the, uh, and and how can we be, uh, and how can we be able uh, to really ensure that maybe some other students get into businesses to ensure that they do not really depend much uh, from their parents. So, Vitis girls, Miyenda, welcome to our discussion this particular evening and uh, this particular morning. Uh, sorry, and welcome to our uh, to our newest program that is called. From grass to grace. Uh, so, Miyenda, if it is a girl, yes. Uh, someone can say, by the way, that you are, you are in a wrong career. You see, you are a mechanical engineer and you've decided to begin a business empire that is related to IT. So, are you not in a wrong career? Yeah, I'm not in a wrong career. Why do you say that? Because uh, computers has, has been my passion all, all along and uh, I started my passion. Uh, okay, my passion started long time ago when I was in uh, high school. I always wanted to do something that deals with uh, with the computers. Mm -hmm. But then uh, I decided that uh, doing something that deals with computers is not enough. Mm -hmm. So uh, I decided to pursue mechanical engineering mm -hmm. so that when I'm done with mechanical engineering, I can join it with computer. How are you going to do that? How can you join mechanical engineering and uh, issues related related to computers in the future? So that's that's how I'm planning. Okay, um, mm -hmm. I'm planning to when I finish uh, when I graduate mm -hmm. with my computer with my engineering course. Yes, I am going to take an an, an IT course mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is that's related to what I'm I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. So what really motivated you now to begin this uh, this business in campus? Okay, what motivated me? Mm -hmm. Okay, my dad motivated me a lot. Your dad motivated you? Yeah, my uh -huh. dad motivated me a lot. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when uh, I was in my first year, mm -hmm. yeah, my life was really tough. Mm -hmm. I remember I had very little money. Yes. And uh, I remember that when you ask money from your dad, yes. my dad, yes. yeah, he could give you like maybe 1,000 and they expected it to stay to sustain you for like two weeks uh -huh. yeah so you see in campus that's very rich yes and, uh, i tried to carry on with that and uh, i saw that things are really getting tough life is not moving mm -hmm. so this business idea i saw it as an opportunity mm -hmm. to extend my stay in campus so how did he actually motivate you how did he motivate you okay so before i started my business yeah um first of all i called him mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I told him mm -hmm. that I have this, I have, I have a printer, I have a, a laptop. I so have, you had a printer? Yeah, before I started my business, I had a printer. Where did I, you get it from? I, I hustled at home and uh, okay. within like like two months, yes. I had a, purchased a printer, uh -huh. Epson L310. Uh -huh. Yeah, it costed me 19500 from Jumia. From Jumia? Yeah. You see now, that is where an, 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 another question comes. Mm -hmm. You said that you okay. You had nineteen thousand five hundred, and it's and you had actually a hustle at home. Yeah. Which kind of hustle did you do? Maybe to get this nineteen thousand five hundred shillings. Yeah, the kind of hustle that I did was not so specific to okay. some fixed okay. mixed kind of jobs. Okay. Like I used to, yeah, it's weird. Like I used to do work for people, and okay. they paid me, and okay. I accumulated that a whole amount of money. Yeah. And then I uh, actually, when I had enough, I bought my first printer. So you called your dad, you told him that you have a printer? 
Yeah, then, I told I told him my uh, okay, my actual plan for buying that printer is mm-hmm. that uh, I use it to print my own notes in <laughs> campus. <laughs> Because, you know, we were being given a lot of notes mm-hmm. and uh, I was actually disturbing my dad by asking him money to, mm-hmm. to print the notes. Mm-hmm. So I actually thought that buying the printer mm-hmm. would be a good idea because mm-hmm. uh, it will lessen the cost on uh, printing because I will actually buy even one ream of papers, mm-hmm. print all my notes mm-hmm. and uh, I'm done. Mm-hmm. And then. Uh, when I arrived in campus for the first time in 2021, uh, yeah. that's uh, on uh, May, mm-hmm. yeah, I decided that I should uh, try to generate something a little bit from the from the print uh, from the printer. Yeah, by actually uh, by actually printing for my friends okay. at a small cost. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So to so you told him that you have got a printer, yeah. and then you told him now you want to begin a business. Yeah, actually, after mm-hmm. I I have uh, I have started printing for my friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw that you were uh, printing for your friends. Yeah, and friends they could, could pay you. Yeah, they, and uh-huh. they pay me. Yeah, yeah. I remember uh, I had very very few customers. Mm-hmm. I was printing from my own house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could I could actually print for my classmates, mm-hmm. notes, and uh, few friends from those who knew me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when uh, I was doing that, I saw that this opportunity is a good idea, mm-hmm. and uh, if I actually expanded it, mm-hmm. it will help me a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I uh, when uh, I saw that my Rand Road was actually uh, expanding some bu- a building that mm-hmm. is uh, next to the road, mm-hmm. so I thought that. Uh, that that's that spot can mm-hmm. be a very good spot for my business mm-hmm. uh, cyber cafe idea mm-hmm. and uh i was thinking of not studying it then mm-hmm. so that i wait until i finish campus mm-hmm. and uh, start the business mm-hmm. but then i decided that if i wait someone mm-hmm. may take that spot and may never leave mm-hmm. so i just decided to take a risk mm-hmm. and uh, start the idea there mm-hmm. yeah. so how did your father now chip in so uh, I called my dad and uh, I told him mm. uh, because I'm disturbing you every month uh, mm-hmm. so that you can send me pocket money mm-hmm. and uh, all that. Mm-hmm. How about you lend me some 50,000 K? Mm-hmm. Some 50,000. Mm-hmm. And uh, I actually tried to see if I can start a cyber cafe. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that will take me off your pocket. Mm-hmm in terms of sustenance money and mm-hmm. uh, and uh, money for the rent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was, yeah, how yeah, did now react? That's how he huh? agreed and mm-hmm. he told me that's a good idea. Mm-hmm. If that's what you want to do, yeah, I will uh, I will agree to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you sent to 50,000 shillings? Yeah, he gave me my starting capital of 50,000 shillings. Uh-huh. Yeah, I bought my first uh, computers. Mm-hmm. How many computers did you buy at, uh, at first? I bought my first two computers. At shillings? Uh, yeah, they costed me, okay, they were they were extensions, mm-hmm. like uh, additional costs. Mm-hmm. But I spent around uh, 40,000. 40,000 shillings? Per piece, yeah, per okay. complete piece, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. I got them cheaper at a friend of mine who sells them from Nairobi. Mm-hmm. I traveled all the way there. Yes. Bought them and came back with them. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, so you started this business now by the year 2021 with only? I did not start it at 2021. Okay, the mm-hmm. actual business started at 2022, mm-hmm. January. Mm-hmm. But the idea started long, long time then. ago. Yeah. So you began by only two computers. Yeah, and right now, how many computers do you have? I have five computers. You've got five computers. Yeah. And maybe you've maybe increased the number of computers through the revenue that you really yeah, call. I've increased the number of computers mm-hmm. from the money that I've generated from the same market. Wow, so you've increased from two to three. Yeah. And we're in September. Yeah, we're in September. Oh. So where really, where where do you see yourself in the next 10 years, by the way? Okay, I cannot say in the next 10 years. That's mm-hmm. a long time from now. I yeah. can say in the next five years. Okay. Yeah, okay. I see myself in the next five years that I have finished with school. Yeah. Yeah, I have like uh, four successful business businesses for learning. successful businesses yeah different mm. businesses learning uh, self-sustained and uh, mm-hmm. generating 
So you want that by 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 okay five years from now, you want to have five businesses. Yeah, at least four. At least, at least four. four. Sustaining, self-sustaining. Uh, self-sustaining, and one of them is the cyber cafe. And one of them is the, actually my plan was uh-huh. uh, to start a, that cyber cafe. Actually, the room is really huge. There's uh-huh. uh, another portion at the back. Yes. Yeah. Uh, my plan was uh, I start the the cyber cafe from the the front part. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, with time mm-hmm. when I get enough money, I open a PlayStation mm-hmm. or PS. Okay, for PDPS. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I uh, one week ago, mm-hmm. I actually got my first PS5. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it costed me around 99,000. 99,000 99, shillings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. 99,000 shillings. Yeah. What else do you want to begin? Okay, after I'm done with uh, the PS, the PS, mm-hmm. uh, I want to see if I can uh, include some things like uh, soft drinks in the cyber cafe or uh, the park or somewhere there, mm-hmm. in the middle. Mm-hmm. and then uh, see if uh, that that business will generate more income than it is generating right mm-hmm. now. Yeah. So the PS is one week old. The PS has not yet started. Okay. I bought it uh, one week ago. Mm-hmm. The console, mm-hmm. and uh, I decided not to uh, start using it then because uh, actually fever 2022 mm-hmm. is uh, going to be out of market in the next uh, around eight days mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. by that yet we are having fever 23 mm-hmm. and uh, if you buy fever 22 mm-hmm. uh, the players will tell you that you have wasted your money because mm-hmm. uh, it will not be enjoyable mm-hmm. as fever 23 the new okay. coming fever 23 mm-hmm. yeah. so i decided to just let it last for the next eight days. Mm-hmm. When Fever 23 is out, I will uh, put it to work. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you decided to begin your business outside campus. Mm-hmm. Your business is not located inside campus. Mm-hmm. And when I walk through the streets of, uh, of Tum, I normally see so many cyber caf- uh, cafes right inside the university. But you decided to take yours outside what? Outside the university where you live. Why did you decide to, uh, to do that? Yeah, I decided to take my cyber cafe out of campus because mm-hmm. uh, actually uh, all year round the landlord will demand rent from you. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you take your business out of campus, there's a uh, time uh, of uh, the year mm-hmm. when students will not be in campus. Okay. And uh, that time your business will be like out of mm-hmm. uh, business and uh, you will be forced to chip out of your pocket mm-hmm. to pay for the rent and mm-hmm. other expenses. So I decided to take my business out of campus because uh, even if at town some point students will not be in campus, like yeah. not in station, yeah. my business will still be learning by other customers who are not students. Hmm. Yeah. Wow, that is very powerful. So you decided to take it outside because maybe at some point student, uh, students are not always found where, are not always found in school, and that is why maybe you began it outside our outside campus. And maybe now, each and every day, I know maybe a cyber cafe maybe actually generates something. So per day, maybe approximately, if you are willing to tell us, maybe how much do you go home with per day, maybe approximately? Yeah, that's 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 the most weird thing that you can ever ask. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I will not say that. Even my dad has never told me how much he makes in a, in a, in a day or in a week. <laughs> He has never said. <laughs> he has <laughs> never said. Unless you actually know his actual salary. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, he cannot tell you. Mm. Yeah. So, uh-huh. so when, okay, when was the last time that maybe you received something little from your parents? Actually, when I started my cyber cafe, yeah, my dad uh, told me that now we are done. Uh, you don't ask money from me and, uh, and uh, you keep your business running. Yeah, you try your best and uh, that was that. Uh, <laughs> so has he ever maybe asked okay do you have have you ever at any particular point maybe sent him something little to maybe to maybe to cater for for the home affairs maybe have you ever sent something little to your uh, to your parents now that you own a, a very good business empire yeah that 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 dad of mine is a very weird one man uh, uh-huh. he can actually uh test you by actually borrowing money from you uh, has he ever done that yeah yes how much did he borrow nice. I cannot say that, but yeah, uh-huh. it's a good amount of money. <laughs> okay. It's a good amount of money. Uh-huh. Yeah, the, actually, he, but as we speak, he still mm-hmm. owes me some money. Mm-hmm. He still owes me some money. Mm-hmm. I'm expecting him to pay me back, of course. Mm-hmm. Why can't you just leave it for him? I can't leave it for him because he has his own money. Yeah. <laughs> 
uh -huh. for business and uh -huh. uh, you you can't do that actually mm -hmm. i could have left it for him mm -hmm. if i was stable enough but actually at the moment i'm still growing and i can live for him and him well and maybe uh, are you a lecturer as a way of this and yeah are, are actually you are a lecturer as a way of this of this business empire actually i have uh, one uh, friend of mine mm -hmm. uh, who actually uh, asked me to print for him mm -hmm. uh, yeah just one just one lecturer uh, the rest of them i have not uh, not advertise my businesses to them. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever motivated anyone maybe to begin such a business maybe? Yeah, yeah. You have motivated one or two? Yeah, one. Uh, there's a friend of mine uh, mm -hmm. who came to me asking for a business idea. Mm -hmm. He had uh, uh, an empty stall uh, in school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told him that uh, if you actually open a cyber cafe, mm -hmm. uh, cyber cafe has a really, really large amount of money, mm -hmm. free money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can uh, you can do something if you actually had one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just uh, opened one mm -hmm. like I think one week ago, mm -hmm. and uh, it's running right now. It's very happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he is running it right now. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So maybe if I want to begin that maybe that business that for a cyber cafe, why should I begin it? By the way, maybe can you give me uh, give me a very good reason as to why I should engage into a uh, business like now a cyber cafe. Okay, a cyber cafe. Yeah. Okay, the thing, the reason why uh, I can advise you to start it, mm -hmm. it's because uh, it, uh, it it gives you time, mm -hmm. it gives you time, and then it exposes you to uh, a whole new world. Like mm -hmm. you meet a lot of people every day, mm -hmm. you encounter a lot of ideas, mm -hmm. you learn a lot of things every single day, mm -hmm. and uh, that can actually mm -hmm. increase uh, your potential. Yeah. Yeah, now how do you market yourself? Yeah, okay. The way I marketed myself, mm -hmm. uh, this was was through friends. Friends, uh huh. Through friends. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, so maybe you could meet someone? Yeah, and I then? Could, I could meet someone. Mm -hmm. I told him I uh, have a cyber cafe. Mm -hmm. Then through WhatsApp groups and uh, status, mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. And when I had uh, actually enough customers. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by enough? Okay, by now you mean I mean by uh, like every, every every single day you have like uh, you meet your minimum your minimum amount that you want to list. And what is that minimum? Okay, on a day, on a single day I I always run. Okay, I'm not I'm not running. Mm -hmm. I always have a target of uh, eight hundred shins. Eight hundred shins. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, that uh, that that's to say that uh, if I list eight hundred shins mm -hmm. that. Uh, can cater for my mm -hmm. expenses like uh, rent, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, being for the bills I qualify. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So you marketed yourself maybe through the uh, through the friends, yeah. and maybe what 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 I know you've actually informed all your classmates that you have what you have got a cyber cafe. Uh, yeah, a cyber cafe. What was their reaction towards this idea? Actually, they supported me. They supported you. Yeah, some in of terms them, of some like uh, printing stuff. Uh -huh. like, uh, some could call me and tell me, bring us this, bring us this notes, bring us mm -hmm. this rock books. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. Wow, that is very powerful. I know that maybe we've come to issues now, education. How do you really balance between now mechanical engineering and maybe the side hustle? Okay, when I started, actually, I was planning to learn it when I was free, not in class. Mm -hmm. And uh, as time went by, I said mm -hmm. I saw that the demand uh, for the services was high. Mm -hmm. And uh, I found an assistant, someone who helps me when I'm not there. Uh -huh. Yeah, I have a friend of mine. Uh, I, is he done with school? He's not done with school. Uh -huh. Yeah, so when he's free, mm -hmm. he learns it. When I'm free, I learn it. Yeah. Oh, when you're free, you just run it. Yeah. Okay. And I want to believe maybe sometimes mechanical engineering can, uh, can require you maybe to have three classes or, or even four classes a day. Has there come a day that for the whole day you are not in your cyber cafe? I can say that uh, that has happened. That has happened. Yeah, but uh, my friend is an IT student, and his classes mostly ends at ten. Uh, 10 mm -hmm. Most of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for like uh, a whole week. Mm -hmm. He he actually is busy only on Monday, mm -hmm. and uh, Monday and Tuesday it depends on the the timetable. Okay. The rest of week 
of the week is available mm -hmm. and uh, when it's around and I'm around uh, I can say that uh, the business thrives. Okay and now I want to believe actually during the exam period that is when the tension is very much high and you really need your attempt to do what to revise. So how do you maybe cope up with that kind of tension that comes along with examinations? Yeah when it comes to that I uh, I have friends, I have friends, mm -hmm. uh, I have friends that I have actually taught to do what I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I actually try to find all the available ones mm -hmm. and uh, I give them the job to do mm -hmm. so that uh, when I'm not around, they do it mm -hmm. so that uh, the business keeps going. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, and uh, maybe as we finish, could you please give an advice? to that campus student or even a college student or even anybody who wants to begin any kind of business at any particular point, maybe any kind of advice, most specifically to campus students. Okay, mm. my advice mm. uh, is, um, first of all, mm. it fits really sweet uh, when you're generating your own money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you're not asking for money from someone, mm -hmm. it feels nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that, uh, makes you feel satisfied mm -hmm. yeah you don't wake up panicking like what am i going to eat today if my dad doesn't send me money mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's a good idea if you see an idea mm -hmm. don't just waste it you mm -hmm. take it mm -hmm. yeah god knows you might uh, find uh, a way forward to sustain yourself mm -hmm. without depending on anyone and okay uh, who knows the future you don't know if uh, that business will be you are what you do for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think that is very powerful, by the way. And uh, actually, who pays your school fees? Is it your parents or you, you really pay for yourself? And have you applied for help? Okay, I okay, I the only thing I pay for myself is uh, the rent for the house that I use for the business mm -hmm. and uh, the rent for the house that I live in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my uh, my dad, uh, my dad pays for my fees. Oh, your dad uh, pays for your fees. Yeah. Oh, that is very powerful. And maybe your last words now to anybody who is going to listen to this kind of interview. Maybe your last words. Uh, now, your last words to anybody who is going to listen to this kind of interview. Okay, my last words for anybody who is going to listen to this interview is uh, just uh, see what you're good at and uh, keep up with that because uh, my idea of starting a cyber cafe thrived because uh, I liked computers very much and uh, many times when you feel like giving up you don't give up because that's what you like mm -hmm. so uh, just uh, take that what you like uh, if it is a talent or something like that you can actually keep that learning longer than uh, anything else Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Many thanks indeed, Mr. Migenda, for that wonderful inspiration. Yeah, you've had he has moved from grass to grace at the end of the day. Find something that you are good at. If you are good at maybe some uh, some issue, you can actually uh, make that to become a business opportunity. That uh, those are the same same words from Mr. Migenda, who at the moment actually is really comfortable with uh, with what uh, with the kind of life that is actually living. So many thanks indeed for uh, your company this particular morning. Uh, we really pray that you, uh, you you also join us next week, uh, the day like today, time like today, as you also discuss so many issues, as you also bring in another visitors, those who, those who shall be able to give us and actually open us our minds that we can be able to venture into various businesses as far as uh, the economy is concerned. My name is Clinton Mogaka. Bye bye for now. And this is From Grass to Grace on Alchifa TV.